Hello, and thank you for joining us for today's Thought for the Day, Thursday the 24th of December. The readings for today are Job 33, Zechariah 9, and Revelation chapter 7 and 9. The title of today's theme is The Rest of Mankind Did Not Repent. So as we ponder the symbolic language of our Lord in his final message of revelation given through his beloved disciple John, we were struck by the many different ways God has ultimately punished and destroyed those who have no time for him. Often, after a long period of grace, looking to see in them a change of heart. There are two classes of people who suffer this punishment. First, those who claim to worship him, but are insincere or false in their worship and service. It can be said that they try to have the best of both worlds. Secondly, there are those who have no time for God at all, especially those who have convinced themselves there is no God, no creator, that all exists as the result of an incredible series of accidents over an endless age. There is, of course, a small third group, those who are faithful but who suffer at the hands of others. Some of them become martyrs, and we read of them yesterday in Revelation 6 verse 9. Through the ages, God has brought plagues upon both classes of people. We remember the plagues in Egypt and the days of Moses. The Egyptians surely had a memory of the blessings that the leadership of Joseph had brought to their nation. But human memories of good things always fade away or become taken for granted. Is not this the spirit in the world today? As we read chapter 9 of Revelation with its pictures of destruction and reflection on its probable application to particular events throughout the ages, we came to the final second verse which says, The rest of mankind did not repent of the works of their hands, nor did they repent of their murders, or their sorceries, or their sexual immorality, or their thefts. Any sense of repentance these days for disregarding God's laws has now more or less vanished. These words are especially a warning to our generation. We call to mind how Jesus read from the Isaiah scroll in the synagogue. He found the place where it was written, chapter 61, verse 1 and 2, that his work would be to proclaim the year or the time of the Lord's favour. Then he stopped. But the next words of the scroll are, and the day of vengeance of our God. And the world faces that day now, for his return must be near. Finally, the world has reached the predicted time, Matthew 24 verse 14, when people of all nations can read God's word and see its challenge to believe in God's gospel and its warnings of coming divine punishment on a godless world. Tomorrow we will read of both tragedy and the triumph that comes with the opening of the final seal. Thank you for joining us for today's Thought for the Day. If you enjoyed it, please share it with others. And remember, whatever you do today, do all to the glory of God. Acknowledging that the antidote to sin is not only not to sin, but to do good. Thank you and God bless.